to get rid of trash fever. Trash fever, more commonly known as cotton fever, is an illness that often afflicts intravenous drug users. It is referred to as cotton fever because one of its possible causes is the use of cotton in filtering intravenous drugs like heroin. But contrary to popular belief, it is not the cotton that directly causes cotton fever. It is actually a condition that is caused by an endotoxin released by a bacteria known as Pantoia agglomerans, which can be found in cotton plants. If you ever experience these symptoms, here are the ways for how to get rid of trash fever. 1. Know the symptoms. Although there are many things that might happen to you because of unsafe and unhygienic drug use, trash fever has a specific set of symptoms that differentiates it from other conditions. Aside from a high-grade fever ranging from 38 to 40 degrees Celsius, 100.8 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, you may also experience shortness of breath and violent chills. In fact, some people also call this the shakes because of the violent shivering associated with it. The symptoms usually occur immediately after injection, around 20 minutes on average. The lag time can extend for up to an hour after injection. 2. Understand that it will easily go away. The reassuring thing about trash fever is that it is not a life-threatening condition. Oftentimes, it does not necessitate any kind of treatment because it resolves on its own in just a couple of hours or within the day. Still, this does not mean that you should take it for granted, especially since the symptoms are pretty uncomfortable. 3. Take acetaminophen or Tylenol. Since trash fever involves a high-grade fever, you may have to take some medication for it to go away. Acetaminophen or Tylenol is the common choice for resolving fever, and it is a non-prescription drug. 4. Hydrate yourself. Drinking lots of water is important if you have fever, since the constant high temperature of your body can result in dehydration. This is especially important if you are also experiencing vomiting, which might lead to dehydration. Water replenishes the fluids that are lost because of profuse sweating or vomiting during a fever episode. 5. Take a tepid bath. Baths can lower one's temperature. Make sure that the temperature of the water is warm or tepid so as to make it tolerable for the person experiencing chills and fever. It is a common misconception to immerse a person in an ice bath since this will only aggravate the problem and cause more chills. You should also avoid giving an alcohol bath since alcohol is cool to the skin and might also result in more chills. Further, the alcohol fumes may be inhaled and may cause more problems. 6. Bundle up. If you were experiencing the violent chills that are normally associated with trash fever, then you need to keep yourself warm. This will provide some level of comfort when you feel cold. However, take note that this should only be done when you have chills. Once the chills subside, just keep yourself comfortable and avoid overdressing because this might increase your temperature. 7. Get treated with antibiotics. If your trash fever does not readily subside after a few days, you should visit your doctor. Usually, he will prescribe you with antibiotics that you will need to consume over the course of seven days. You might also be subjected to blood culture tests to see if your fever has any underlying cause. Trash fever is not something to be scared of since it usually resolves within a matter of days. Knowing how to get rid of trash fever is actually the same as managing fever and chills in general. However, you should consult your doctor if you continue experiencing trash fever for more than a couple of days.